Hello, everyone. My name is Brandon Faulkner, and I'm an intern for Village Core. For other events like this, be sure to check out villagecore.org or check out our YouTube channel where we upload these meetings in case you miss them. In today's event, we'll be discussing a app called Todoist. So essentially what Todoist is, is a way for you to keep your life in check um, and make sure that you're on a schedule while still having a way to communicate with other members in your family or in your work um, or in everyday life, what you're doing and what your, what your plans are for the day. So Todoist is a very clean format um, that allows you to keep track of everything. So the way that you sign up for Todoist Todoist is either through Google, it could be through Apple, or it could be through another means of just inputting your email and beginning um, using this application. There also is a pro version, which um, which is uh, fair, which is uh, which allows you to have unlimited reminders, labels, um, automatic backups, comments, and other things of that nature. So for the pro version of Todoist, um, it's $4.99 uh, $4 a month, or you can get the uh, pay yearly and you can pay um, around $50 a year. So essentially um, what Todoist is, is this way to kind of keep track of everything, to create tasks for yourself, um, to monitor what you're doing, um, and to not miss a beat on what you're doing. So it's essentially what like those apps out there that allow you to have set reminders, that allow you to have set goals and other things of that nature. So what I have here is I have an empty inbox. So my inbox, what essentially the inbox is, is where I can add in different kinds of um, events for different people that I know, or I can set them for myself. So if I so if I said, let's say I want to schedule my expert meeting, which I'm hosting now, but I want to schedule it for tomorrow, I'd say expert. I would say due date, which is tomorrow. I would set that as a high priority, and then I would have my reminders be set, which would be with the pro version, where I could re remind myself five minutes in advance, one minute in advance, an hour in advance, half an hour in advance, a day before, a week before, a month before, and that sort of thing. I can also add a different label to it. So if I said this label is marked as important, once again, we have that priority reminder, but also we can set this in, prior, uh, in important um, events in my life. Um, and then we can also add an extension, which extension basically means um, tracking things like a habit tracker, a task helper, different kinds of templates. They also have AI to curate different kind of um, routines for you, conversation starters, and you can also import different things. So I'll get into what these things are in a minute. Um, so what to do is I can simply just go inbox or wherever I want to set it. So let's say I wanted to set it to family and friends, um, or if I wanted to send it to events, um, or if I want to set it to school, or if I would just want to keep it in my inbox. So right now, we'll just keep it in my inbox, and then we'll add the task. So now, Textbird is added in the task section, and now I can view it, I can comment on it, and, on, and then I can also share this task with other members who might be on Todoist with me. Um, so we can copy the link to task, we can duplicate the task, we can add comments via email, um, we can also add those extension with so once more, or we can print it out to have a physical schedule in front of us. So in order to print it out, whoops, it is not resume. So in order to print it out, um, there are different ways that you can format it. Right now, my screen won't allow me to show you that, um, but essentially you can create like um, a table. So a table of seven set days with the different kinds of events, what their priority level is, and how often you should do them with a little section in order for you to check them off when you're done. So if you're somebody who likes creating um, different types of schedules online, but doesn't necessarily want to come online to mark everything off, you can have a paper version with you um, in order to check everything off and you can write down additional comments on it and make, and make sure that everything is complete um, and other things like that. So here we can also set location for different meetings. So if I had a work meeting um, or let's say I had a 
dinner with family, I could mark that, say, okay, I'm meeting at my aunt's house um, and here, and here's the date, here's what I need to bring. Um, I could add the different kind of like what type of attire I should wear in the description, which we have here. Um, and then I could also mark different things. Um, and then I could also write down different things that are very important for me to do. So let's say for this textbook event, I wanted to talk about, let's say dog walking. So I wanted to give a meeting on dog walking. Um, and let's say I wanted to talk about, let's talk about different apps. Let's talk about different apps like, uh, let's say app ideas. And let's say, let's say we talk about, let's say Fido, which is a dog, or I spelled that wrong. All right, Fido, let's say, um, let's say we discuss uh, the dog walking app called Fido, or let's say we talk about um, PetSmart, or we can talk about um, different kinds of habits um, that dogs do on their walks. I could all mark that all down and it gives me bullet points that I could look back at later in order to say, okay, I'm going to hit on these three topics in order to cover that in my meeting for everybody else to view and to, uh, and to share around. So I can either save that or I could cancel that. So we're just going to cancel that for right now. I could add as many different kinds of events that I want in a day. So if I want to mark when I make, when I wake up, when I get ready for school, when I get ready for bed, when I get ready for work, when I get ready for practice, when I go to the store, when I go to, um, when I go to, let's say I go to a family event, I can mark everything in my life down with Todoist. And then once it's done in order to mark it as complete, we hit the little red check mark here and I just mark that as done. And then I'll say down here, task complete. And since the task isn't complete, I'm just gonna undo it. Um, but essentially the task will be done and it disappears off of your homepage and then you're done. You're done with that task. So here as well, we can see today's task. So if you wanna look at tasks that are specifically for today, um, you can go to your today ta tab and you can see all the tasks that are due today. So we can view them as a list, we can view them as a board, we could group them, we could sort them, or we can see who they're assigned to. So here as well, in order to keep up on tasks, Todoist will remind you of overdue events. So here I have overdue events that were from last year, um, since I haven't used this in a while, but I have events here that are overdue that I say, okay, I need to get all these events done um, in order to uh, in order to feel in order to get, in order to see my dashboard clear. So check into college, uh, state qualifiers for my speech and debate, state qualifiers once more, a pancake breakfast that my team was hosting, um, a competition at Stanford that my uh, school was hosting. So I can mark all these events done, and now we have no more tasks that are available for me to do. Um, so now we can look at upcoming. So here, once again, we have upcoming tasks. So here I can see all the tasks that are very important for me to do. So once again, tomorrow we have the expert meeting that I need to attend. Um, so that is marked there. Or we have things like taking care of my dog. So here, since my dog's name is croissant, I can mark it down croissant teeth and nails. And with Todoist, Todoist will remind me through different push notifications on either my phone or my computer, um, through both their application or through emails, um, I can mark down, okay, croissants, teeth and nails need to be done at that day, at this certain time, um, in order for me to mark that event as complete. Same here, we have different kinds of filters and labels. So with filters and labels, we have important kind of events here. We have priority one events, and then we have assigned to me events. You can create different kinds of labels as well. Um, so if I wanted to make this, let's say I wanna make this work and I can add a query, I could add a color. So let's say I wanna go blue and then I want to add it to my favorites since it is very important. So here we go, uh, text, and then we can add it. And so now we have a work 
uh, work label where I can add everything in there um, that is related to work and that is very important for me to get done at a specific time um, and at a specific place. We can also have different projects. So what a project is, is a project is where you can focus on the different kinds of events. It's essentially like a label, except now it's kind of more important um, in a project section. So with these projects, I can add different projects. I can look at them in a list or a board, and I can also add them to favorites. So here I have the school project set, um, which essentially what I could do with that is I could um, add in all my school stuff. Um, I can also add different events that I'm doing or family and friends. So with Todoist, you can collaborate with different kinds of family and friends on the Todoist board. So I might be able to see my feed here if I go to my inbox, but nobody else can who is in my family. But if I want to switch to a family and friends function, I can now see what my mom has added to the board. So here we have croissant teeth and nails again. We have croissant neck scarred, which is her tick repellent um, that she needs to take once a month. So here we can see, okay, those are those are tasks that are important that need to be done. Um, and I shared them with the family in order to make sure that they are completed by somebody. Uh, it may not be me, but at least somebody's completing that task um, eventually. So here we have here up top, oops, here up top we have um, different kinds of basically options to view. So if you want to return home, if you want to research for a specific task, or if you want to search for a specific folder, there's a search bar. Um, if I were to upgrade to Pro, that would go away. There's an also there's also an add button where I can add to different kinds of tasks. Um, I can also see my productivity. So over time with Todoist, I could track my productivity. So I could see how fast I'm completing my tasks. Um, and it's also kind of like a reward system. So essentially, the more tasks you complete, the more tasks you complete, um, the kind of level you go up. So if you're completing everything every single day that you set for yourself, you'll slowly rise up um, from a novice to different kind, different levels. Um, so we could look at the kinds of different uh, karma levels which essentially means you start at beginner, then you move to novice, then you then you become intermediate, professional, expert, master, grandmaster, and then you become enlightened. This means that you're completing everything for many years um, and that you are on top of what you're doing and making sure that everybody is scheduled um, perfectly. So it's like a re little reward system. Um, it's just kind of like positive karma um, that you're regularly com completing your task and that you feel fulfilled um, after completing all these tasks. There's also the help and information section. There's the reminder section, which everything will be set um, up to remind you constantly about the different kinds of tasks that you want. And then there's also your account and view. So you can go to things like settings. You can change the theme. You can look at the activity log. You can print different things out. Um, there's some kind of integrations. So if we were to go to settings here, I could look at general I could look at advanced settings. I could look up my subscription. Um, I could look at the different kinds of themes that I can have. So if I wanted to change it to Clover, I would need to upgrade to Pro. But let's say I want to make it dark since I like having dark mode on for literally everything. So I want to make it dark. Uh, let's say I want to have, uh, let's say I wanted to have a sidebar uh, so here's my sidebar and what my sidebar is showing. Let's see quick ad. I could look at quick ad events, um, and I can add different labels and locations. Uh, I could look at, uh, let's say productivity. So here under productivity, essentially what you're doing is, is you can say to, to, to do is I don't want to do the karma program or, uh, or you can switch that on and off. You can also set the amount of daily tasks that you want to complete for yourself. So let's say I wanted to go, I wanted to go absolutely insane. And let's say I wanted to set 25 tasks for myself to do in a day. And let's say weekly tasks. Let's say for five for five days. Or let's say, yeah, let's say for 
let's say my weekly task will be 500 tasks. Um, I could set that up now and now to do is to will kind of track me on my progress throughout the week. Now, since I'm not insane, I'm just going to set that as three daily tasks. And I'm going to set this as, let's say I want to complete, uh, let's say I want to complete 20, 21 different ta uh, tasks each week, which means three tasks per day. Um, so I can see goal collaborations. Uh, so this is my goal. Um, I could look at days off. So with the days off function, it basically is just marking, okay, you're taking these days off. You don't have to do anything that day. It won't show anything. Um, and you can set that. You can also set vacation mode. So when tracking pro progress, Todoist will just do this automatically. But you, if you turn on uh, vacation mode, is that your streaks and your karma will just remain the same. That just means, okay, I'm taking a little vacation off. I'm going to, let's say I'm going to Cabo. Um, and now I'm on vacation and I don't want to necessarily be completing all these, all these tasks. Um, now I don't have to do that with vacation mode because it's just saving everything and I can enjoy my vacation with my family. So let's turn that off. Let's hit update. And other than that, there's not really much else to add with Todoist um, because it's it's just setting reminders and it's just keeping track of your day to make sure that everything is going smoothly. Um, and it's also just a really fun and easy way to kind of collaborate with people in order to make sure that um, tasks are being complete. So not only can you use this with uh, things like friends or family, but you can also use this in the work setting. If somebody needs to get uh, let somebody needs to get um, a task complete um, and the whole office doesn't necessarily know that the whole office can join Todoist and now they can see all the tasks that are assigned to them. They can see who's completed certain tasks and everybody can be kept up to date on their productivity and what they're doing on a day to day basis. So let's say let's say I was working at, let's say I was working in journalism, which is what I want to do. And let's say I had a really important meeting with my boss. And so my boss could add this meeting to, to, to Todoist and assign it to everybody in the office to show up. It's just a really easy way to kind of communicate. And Todoist is on desktops, uh, laptops, iPads, tablets, and phones. So you can literally have reminders everywhere you go. It doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter what your device you're on. As long as Todoist is installed, um, you will get a notification about the uh, the task that you are supposed to complete um, at that very moment. Uh, so other than that, that's really all I have to share for today. So once again, my name is Brandon Faulkner. I'm an intern for Village Core. For other events like this, be sure to check out villagecore.org or check out our YouTube channel where we upload these meetings um, on a daily basis in case you miss them. Thank you so much for watching.